A five-year employment restriction is part of Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong's parole condition last month. But civic groups have reported him to the prosecution for violating this clause on the very first day of his release. Immediately after being released on parole last month, Samsung Electronics Vice Chair Lee Jae-yong went to the group headquarters in Sacheodong, Seoul and was briefed on management issues. Shortly after that, the conglomerate announced a 240 trillion won investment plan on August 24. Civic groups such as the Citizens Coalition for Economic Justice and the People's Solidarity for Participatory Democracy claim he had violated the employment restriction clause of his parole. Running the company means he is employed. They point out, not punishing E for violating this condition undermines the law designed to bar an economic offender from exercising influence on the company in question. 엄정한 수사와 법 적용이 이루어져야 특정 경제 범죄법이 정한 취업 제한 제도가 실효적으로 작동될 것인 바 법무부 입장에 구속되지 아니하고 본권에 대해 철저히 조사하기를. But unlike in February, when the Ministry of Justice claimed that it could demand the de facto chief to be dismissed from his position, the ministry now claims his management activities cannot be seen as employment. The reason? He is an unregistered executive who has no legal authority or influence on the company. 몇 년째 무보수고요. 두 번째는 비상위, 세 번째는 미등기 임원이라는 점입니다. 취업이라고 보기는 어렵지 않느냐. Prime Minister Kim Bugyeom also said in an interview with British Press that it is not appropriate to ban E's activities when he's already paroled. The government is being criticized for turning a blind eye to the fact that E. Jae-yong is clearly exercising his authority as a conglomerate head.